fish upon a star makes no difference who you are anyone you like to hear will come to you hi there now we're going to go above the world of cars with planes including the ones from the sequel planes fire and rescue we start with Skipper Riley, a reclusive Navy Corsair. Skipper was an ace flyer and a top instructor of the esteemed Jolly Wrenches Squadron until an incident during a combat mission took him off the front lines and left him grounded for life. Skipper generally keeps to himself, but his quiet existence is turned upside down when the ambitious and persistent Dusty Crop Hopper solicits Skipper's aerial expertise and gets a few life lessons in the process. But Skipper, who's never really come to terms with his past, finds that he has a few things to learn too. And while coaching Dusty to fly faster and smarter, the teacher becomes the student. Meet Leadbottom. Leadbottom is a puttering old biplane and a grumbling taskmaster. A real tank half empty kind of guy. <laughs> As the proprietor of Vida Mina Mulch, a special albeit putrid blend of vitamins, minerals, and mulch that works miracles when sprayed on crops, Leadbottom has no time for Dusty's far-fetched flights of fancy. There are too many crops to spray and not enough hours in the day to spray them. For Leadbottom, it's work first, then, well, low work. <laughs> now here is Dusty Crop Hopper himself. Dusty is a plane with high hopes, literally, a crop duster by trade. This single prop plane sees himself soaring alongside his high-flying heroes in an international race. The fact that he's not really built for competitive racing hasn't deterred him from pursuing his dream, but his fear of heights just might. With a little help from his friends and a World War II vet with wisdom to spare, Dusty takes off on the adventure of a lifetime going prop to prop with champions while daring to reach heights he never imagined possible. Did you know that? Dusty's racing number is seven. His crop sprayer is an M5000 model and his wingspan is 23 feet. Now you know. Meet Dottie. Dottie is a forklift who co-owns and operates Chug and Dottie's fill and fly service station. As Dusty's practical and say it like it is, friend, not to mention his ace mechanic, Dottie hopes to keep his high-flying hopes grounded in reality. Dusty isn't built to race and chasing his dream is downright dangerous. No matter what he decides, however, Dottie will always have his back. This is Chug. Fuel Truck Chug is a guy's guy. He works hard as a co-owner of Chug and Dottie's Fill and Fly service station and plays hard, indulging his own fuel from time to time. He has a big personality and is a bold supporter of Dusty's high-flying endeavors. Indeed, he's not only Dusty's buddy, he's his coach and biggest fan. And if Chug can't help Dusty reach new heights, he'll find someone who can. Meet Ripslinger. With more wins than he can count and an abundance of fans, Ripslinger is wings down the biggest name in air racing. And he knows it. But despite Sky's the limit funding and state-of-the-art equipment, the world champion still doesn't play fair, especially when it comes to a small town plane with zero racing experience. Dusty doesn't belong in Ripslinger's sport, and his mere presence makes the pro's fuel boil. If Dusty's inexperience doesn't take him out of the race, Ripslinger won't hesitate to employ a couple of underhanded sidekicks from his vast empire to take care of business. Here are Ned and Zed. Team Ripslinger's bombastic racers Ned and Zed specialize in sabotage. Lacking the skills to actually outrace the competition, they simply eliminated, propelling boss Ripslinger to victory every single time. Zed, a rowdy and reckless flyer, and Ned, a strange bird himself, may not be the sharpest props in the hangar, but they have figured out how to draft off Ripslinger's fame. Say hola to El Chupacabra. This intensely charming El Chupacabra is a legend in Mexico. Just ask him. 
powered by his passion for racing, not to mention the elusive Rochelle. This caped Casanova is anything but low-key. His booming voice and charismatic presence are as big as his oversized engine. His cohorts aren't really sure what is truth and what is delusion when it comes to El Chu. But one thing is beyond doubt, he races with a whole lot of heart and more dramatic flair than is recommended at high altitudes. Now here is Rochelle. Rochelle is a tough racer and the pride of the great white north. Always confident and capable, she got her start running mail to small towns in Quebec, picking up home remedies for mechanical maladies along the way. She also developed a knack for fast travel that ultimately inspired her to give air racing a try. Rochelle never looked back. This competitive contender doesn't need to. She is relentlessly pursued by charmer El Chupacabra. But steadfast Rochelle is much too focused on winning the race to return his affections. Great! Now let's learn about the characters from this film's sequel, Planes, Fire, and Rescue. We have Blade Ranger. Blade is the leader of the Piston Peak Air Attack Team, a veteran fire and rescue helicopter. He's an all-purpose aircraft equipped with a drop tank and hoist. Blade is a tough and demanding air boss with a wry sense of humor. Earlier in his life, he was known as Blazin' Blade and played a rescue chopper on the hit TV show, Chops, which is California Helicopter Patrol. <laughs> After the tragic loss of his on-screen partner, Blade struggled with his purpose in life. However, he soon got a second chance when he trained to become a real fire and rescue helicopter. Now, instead of pretending to save lives, Blade saves him for real. Blade teaches Dusty that even though life doesn't always go the way you expect it to, it doesn't mean you have to give up. Meet Lil Dipper. Leah Lil Dipper Levine is a super scooper, able to skim lakes and collect water to drop on fires. She loves to watch air racing and has a huge crush on Dusty Crop Hopper. So she's stunned and thrilled when he shows up at Piston Peak, outgoing and spirited. She's always full of positive energy and enthusiasm. She is also a tough and fearless firefighter, able to drop 1,620 gallons of water on a fire. Before coming to Piston Peak, Dipper hauled cargo up in Alaska, like everyone on the team. She found a second life as a firefighter. Her best friend on the team is Windlifter and Dipper nicely counterbalancing his reserved demeanor. Meet Maru. Maru is a mechanic tug at the Piston Peak Air Attack Base. Friendly, but with a sarcastic sense of humor, he's been around a long time and has seen many firefighters come and go. A huge pack rat, Maru has filled his service hangar with racks of old parts and machinery, organized in a way that only he understands. Since everything on the base is repurposed equipment, he has become a professional at modifying or fabricating almost anything the team needs. When he's finished a repair, you will almost always hear him shout, It's better than new! Now here is Windlifter. Windlifter is a heavy lift helicopter capable of hoisting dozens of trees or a huge tank of retardant. He is the strongest of the team, able to lift a payload of up to 20,000 pounds. He is an American Indian and knowledgeable about fire folklore. His connection to nature allows him to sense fires before they've even started. A skilled and dedicated firefighter, he never backs down from any mission. He was a lumberjack in his former career and became a firefighter out of a desire to help others. His best friend is Dipper, whose bubbly personality is the complete opposite of his soft-spoken disposition. Meet Cad Spinner. Park Superintendent Cad Spinner is a luxury sport utility vehicle who's better suited to a country club than the country. Cat is so self-centered that he rarely hears the other side of a conversation. Profits are more important to him than safety. Therefore, he shifted a large chunk of the firefighter's budget to his lodge restoration project to boost tourism. He will do anything to protect his precious lodge, even at the expense of the rest of the park and its guests. A fact he demonstrates when he reroutes the park's main water line to the roof sprinklers on the lodge, running the firefighter's supply lines dry during a massive fire. 
And here are Harvey and Winnie. This loving RV couple is returning to Piston Peak National Park, where they celebrated their honeymoon 50 years ago. Harvey and Winnie met when Harvey was the manager of an RV tire store and Winnie was his showroom model. Though they may occasionally bicker, their love is as strong as it was the day they met. Harvey and Winnie get stranded on an old wooden bridge surrounded by fire, but Blade and Dusty come to the rescue just in time to save them. And those are all the plane characters, even the other vehicles that are on the ground. Join me next time, and this time we'll talk about characters from Pocahontas.